welcome to my channel my name is sandra i'm so pleased to have you here this is my very first video <laughs> and i'm hoping that this is going to be a great 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 adventure for all of us it's my first time i've been holding this off i've been wanting to do this forever but i keep putting it up putting it up putting it up but i finally did have the courage to do it today so thank you all for tuning in if you have not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time that i put a new video so what we're going to be doing i know that a lot of us struggle with makeup so what we're going to be doing is just to get the basics the basics of you to just what you need to get out the door okay if you're trying to look for the slay queen in this channel oh yeah pack your bags and leave you will not see the slay queen yet you just have enough for you to get out the door go to church go to work and most times we do want to make up but we don't know where to start we don't know what to use we don't know how to use it we probably do have the product but we don't know how to use them so that's what i'm going to be doing here and i also do try my hands on a whole lot of other things i do paper flowers i do diy uh projects for the house so every now and then i'm gonna throw in those videos those tutorials in there and hopefully you can learn something and i'm also on tiktok please go on tiktok and follow me sandy babes 86 36 sandy babes 36 i think that's what it is but i'm gonna put the link of my tiktok down below so if you want to see how we achieve this look very simple look this could take you to church. You could even take you to a party. Come on now. If you want to see how we achieve this, stay tuned. Bye. Okay, guys. So I'm back. And as you can see, I already did my brows. Well, partly. I'm still going to finish up at the end. Um, Don't judge my brows. Somebody said that the brows are sisters. They're not twins, okay? So... You don't necessarily have to make them identical. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is to apply primer. Okay. So a primer is just to prep your face. It just gives a good base for the foundation. And I get very oily. So I like using a mattifying primer. But this primer from Essence, this is Glow Boosting Pore Minimizing Primer. I love this primer. Um, it does minimize my pores and it has a little bit of glow in it. So it just makes your foundation look really nice. And because I get oily, I usually like to take a little bit of mattifying primer too. And this one, I'll just put uh, my teaser, my problem area, my nose gets... I mean, you can fry dodo on that nose in an hour. I mean, even though I do this, it still gets very, very oily. So, so I like to take, I'm about to put my foundation, but if you can see, you see all these black spots on my face, most times they will bleed underneath the foundation. So I like to take a little bit of darker um, concealer, and this is a NYX CJ08 in Nutmeg. So this is what I use and I'll just put that put that on those dark spots all right so you can see all blended up and I already have all those marks covered up so I'm gonna be using using my foundation this is the Mac studio fix and this is an NC 50 I do spray my my sponge i'm going to be using a sponge I'll spray it spray it some and then we're going to apply the foundation and of course with foundation a little always goes a long way i don't like applying too much foundation on my face i'm not sure why I guess I forgot 
Well, I'm just nervous because it's my first time. But I always do my eyes before my face. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Baby steps. Okay. Baby steps. So for my highlight, sometimes I go lighter, sometimes I don't, but most times I don't. So I'm using the Instant Age Rewind. This is Maybelline and this is in tan. Okay. I'm going to use this to just Highlight underneath the eyes, and again, I don't use too much product. I don't like my face cakey, and that's the problem I used to have when I just started doing makeup. I feel cakey, but I didn't understand that is because I was using too much of the product. And you see people sometimes they will do they'll make a triangle they'll make a rectangle underneath the eyes they do whatever thing they do it really doesn't matter because you're gonna blend it out right doesn't matter so i'm just blending this out all right so before i start creasing too much i'm using sasha buttercup setting powder i'm just gonna set all those places where I apply the concealer just so that they don't um doesn't crease and again I'm using my same beauty blender you're gonna realize that the beauty blender is your number one tool well for most people not everybody uses it as much as i do okay so all those places where i apply the concealer And don't worry too much about how it looks. We're gonna blend everything out. Okay. Now you know the key word for makeup? Blending. Blending. You're gonna blend your life away. Blend, 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 and blend some more. And when you think you're done blending, blend again. <laughs> if you look at my face right now, we kind of have like a natural contour already there. Because I put the highlight there and here, so you see this dark spot? That's where you have your contour. I use for my shade Black Radiance. The contour palette and I use in deep dark deep dark but I'm not gonna use this one this is too dark for me I'm gonna use the middle shade which is a little darker this is my contour brush see it's a little slanty this is what I use if you could get that contour real good right there mm. And I don't know about you, but I like my dark contour. I like my contour to come out real good. You see that? Again, you can really tell it's heavy, but don't worry. We're going to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take a powder. That's going to help me to set the entire face. And I'm using the Revolution. What is this called? Matte Base Powder. 
this is in P13. Okay. So I'm going to use this to just And you see me going over the contour that I did because I want everything to settle in. And it will all be the same. So now that that's all blended in, right? I'm gonna put in, you can see that I kind of lost a little bit of color on the side. You can still see the contour, but everything is now like flat. So we need to get some color around and I'm gonna be doing a bronzer this is Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in Dark. And I will use this with a powder brush. And I will just put that around. And blush time. For more natural looks i like using the sleek what's it called face form contouring palette so it has contour and highlight in there and i usually just like using this shade right here it's a little it's it's like a blush but it's very natural it has a little bit of shine in it um most times that's what i use um, because I don't like too much blush, but every now and then I'll put some blush. So you put it on your cheek and just bring it up a little bit to blend it. So it goes on the cheek and I put a little bit. And it also serves as a highlight because it's kind of, you see that? Brightens up this side. It's not bright like that. But look at this side. You know? Okay, moving on to the eyes. Concealer, I like to set my eyelids and like I said earlier, I usually do this first. So when I do the eyelids, I put enough concealer to set. When I do the, the brows, put enough concealer to set the lids. And this just helps give a kind of like a foundation for, you see, you see that? You see this right here? That's why I do my eyes first. Usually I set that with my Sasha just a little bit and just put it all around. So we're going for a simple look today. Simple look. And this is my best nude palette from Julia's Place. So to start off, I'm going for a color that's a little bit like my skin tone. Going with this one, I'm using a big brush. And we're going to use this again as a transition. What is wrong with the Wrong. It just turned like really dark, and I have somebody picking behind me there. Maybe you're the one bringing this color thing. What's wrong with my color? It kind of goes a little dark. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go a little darker, and this time I don't want it all over my lid like I did the first color. So I'm gonna change the brush and take something a little more precise. You see that? It has a, and I'm going darker. I'm gonna go with this darker brown right here, and then I'm gonna put in the crease. So the crease is right here. This, uh, is that a hole? <laughs> this spot right here, in that hole. So I'm going to use the same brush that I used earlier. I'm going to go a little darker. I'm going to go actually black. And this black, I'm going to put it in the inner corner. Okay. 
close my eye a little bit. And this is not black black. This is like dark brown, like really dark brown. Up here, down here. That's a nice song. Up here, down here, and put it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with this color right here. It's kind of like a rose gold. I'm gonna go with this and just put that on the lid. Pretty much everywhere that hasn't had, that hasn't touched. Um, that hasn't had anything on it yet i'm gonna put it on there and i'm not pulling pulling per se i'm kind of like you put it on and then you kind of slide it just a little bit you don't want to slide it too much and i like going up because i have what they call um what they call it? Hooded eyes. So that when I put my eye up, you can barely see um, the makeup because of that line. So I always like going up all the way to this crease right here. To the crease bone. So it kind of like widens your eye and gives you a bigger lid. Okay. As you can see, I already have my lashes on. I can show you that one right now. That is a story for a whole nother day. That's a whole different chapter on its own. We we'll spent one hour just talking about lashes, how to put them. So this is a part where I finish up with my brows. I like to just brush this out. Kind of like make it fade, kind of. I like to brush it out like this. And I do what they call a unibrow. So you know that naturally your brows will kind of like be light in the front and then they go darker in the back. So that's the illusion that I'm trying to create here to brush it out. I'm going to take it up. Take it up. Okay. And so what I do with this part, I just take my beauty blender. there to diffuse that unibrow you see so it's kind of like a day but an day and kind of like so to finish up I have my spray this is a revolution spray this and the spray kind of like just makes everything settle in all the powder everything so I'm gonna cover my eyes I like drenching my face in it. I spray a lot. Okay. Okay, guys. So here we go. This is the final look. All set. <laughs> I don't know how to post. That's what's gonna kill me. Uh, I'm so sorry I did not show you guys what I use for my lips. We are getting there. Baby steps. So I lined my lips with... This is from Maybelline. I lined my lips with that. And then I use this as my... Honestly, I'm not sure what this is or where I got it from. 
there's no name on it but it's probably from um, beauty supply I'm not sure really and then I also use this one and I definitely know I got this from the beauty supply so that's what I use so there it is all done thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking with me to the very end um, I'm excited this is my first video like I said at the beginning and I'm glad you stuck with me till the end I am hopeful that this is going to be a great journey for all of us and thank you so much if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time that I put out a video hopefully I'm going to be putting out two videos a week um, and we're going to have fun in this channel so thank you so much and see you next time